this energy everywhere we draw near our goal. Welp. A concubine. Wait, are we, are, are we about to redo this whole fight again? No. Nope. Oh, I'm, 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 I think I'm going to be separated from my party. What was up with that anyway? I saw like four people there. And one of them was the Sybil. Why would Sybil be here? Wait, was her name Sybil? I don't know. The girl I've, I've ignored the entire game. Oh, look, it's Edwin. <laughs> Am I going to be conveniently one-on-one -on -one with Edwin again? The stalker. Well, yep, sure is. I'm gonna be. It's just gonna be the two of us, out of all the people that could potentially be together. I guess I'll put points in ranger stuff or something. Uh, I get better stabs. I already upgraded my dodge. Let's see, it's better stealth. I don't like much stealth. I think I'll just go straight for having faster attacks. It's about time I got that ability. And I have one more- I have a feat to spend, and I'm pretty much running out of stuff to even put points in at this point. So, what can I even buy? Let's just make healing potions more effective, maybe? Uh, I'll upgrade my ability to recycle ingredients. That means I can get more from when I throw away my stuff. So, Edwin. What brings you to this neck of the woods? What do you mean Edwin has left the group? She's right there. She's clearly in my group. Edwin has joined the group. Well, then why did you say that she left it? This game is so weird sometimes. Anyway, let's, let's see if she has anything to say about the situation, I guess. Edwin, I need to speak to you. What can I do for you? I would like to ask you a few questions. So what's the deal between you and Black Frost? Once upon a time, we were both Ice Lords. Don't take me for a fool. There's more to it than that. Since nothing escapes your insightful eye, Black Frost and I were close before... before I lost my powers. Close? So things got hot between two ice swords? That is none of your affair. Okay, so that was... that was a bad pun joke sort of thing going on there. Things got hot between two ice lords. <laughs> oh, let's do oh, let's get flirty. Bastard sorcerer though he is. At least he's got good taste. Taste had nothing whatsoever to do with it. Our relationship was purely political. This alliance could have helped us to get the upper hand over the other Ice Lords. What screwed it up? He betrayed me first. I hate when that happens. When the other Ice Lords finally noticed our strengthened connection and felt threatened by it, he reacted by sacrificing me to save his own skin. He is the one who suggested to the others that they dispossess me of my powers and leave me to live as a miserable human. Yeah, that's a deal breaker. I would like to ask you a few questions. Oh, well then why is the option there if I can't actually ask her more questions? <laughs> I guess we're done with this. Oh well. What's the combat style? You need to rethink your combat style. Do we have a problem? Let's see. Be more aggressive, you take too many risks. Yeah, let's just say be more aggressive. I understand that you don't want to take a lot of hits, but I'd like you to be a little more aggressive in combat. Well, I was just waiting for your permission to release my inner beast, mercenary. Okay. Thanks. Maybe that'll help her get extra... I don't know, extra spammy Nothing with broken. her spells? Evil bitch. What happened? Black Frost wanted to give us a warm welcome to his domain. And his concubine managed to separate us. Well, that was weird. Oh. Well, goodbye then. Alright. So I guess a, I guess a conversation triggered when we started moving, but it was... The area we were moving through was so short that the conversation got cut off by a, a cutscene that they knew was gonna happen. But then the, the triggered conversation was extra weird because I had just had a long conversation with her before that. So that kind of killed the timing and context of it. 
Enjoy my summoned creatures. Haha, so many fireballs are coming at you right now. So many fireballs. I wonder, does my sp does, when that creature kills someone, does that count as giving me... I wonder if I get any... Uh, ow, dick. Fine, I'll just throw you, blow you up with a fireball. Blammo. Mmm, blammo. How's that for damage? Hell, this is my, uh, this is the best case scenario for me. If you throw a bunch of weak enemies at me, because I get mana every time I kill someone. So that, if that, if that man, and that man has a flat value that doesn't care about how strong the enemy is, which is unfortunate for me when I'm fighting bosses and things like that, but if they're going to keep throwing shitty little guys at me, I'm just going to keep blowing them up, because I just get the mana back anyway. Hell yeah. Edwin, you keep focusing on the big guy. I'm going to just get a bunch of experience and mana over here. Blammo. Oh, I still... Oh, I didn't quite die. There we go. Problem solved. Is that everyone? Did I take care of the horde? I guess I'll go... I guess I'll make Edwin not die, because she's well on her way to being dead soon. Alright. Lots of fire attacks. Dodge. Oh, never mind. I thought he was in the middle of attacking me with the swords, but then that didn't actually happen. Oh, he looked, that looks bad. I'm going to get away from that. Yeah. That's... How do you like my fire- ow! How do you like my fire spirits? This guy's really weak, by the way. Oh no, don't disappear, I just summoned a dude. Oh, I won, never mind. I thought he disappeared underground like the, uh, those ghosts often did. That you fight at the beginning, they're probably called wraiths or something. I don't know, as I've explained before, I often just use generic terms for RPG things, just because I, can't, I don't like using the specific- I can't get the item?! Oh, come on! Oh, I can go up here? Maybe? A little bit? No? Oh, there's an item I can't get. That's bullshit. You, the game lets you kill enemies outside of areas you can walk to, so you, the item's just gone forever. That's kind of a bummer. Well, speaking of items, I may as well check to see if I can make more healing potions. I can make one. Okay. That's what I've been putting most of my resources into so far, because healing potions are the biggest demand that I have. I, my mana comes back now, so that's not a big deal. I thought the dead walkers. I really wish these conversations would happen in times where they weren't going to get cut off by cutscenes just from me playing normally. I guess I have to just stop moving every time a, cut a conversation starts so that I can hear the whole thing. Well, this looks like the ultimate grinding location. Every MMO character I've ever had has wanted to find this room. <laughs> just an just an endless uh, an endless amount of really easy enemies all spawning in one room for me to kill. Let's continue this way. Or at least they're easy until the exact moment that they have bows. Do any of these guys have bows? Because if all those guys start having bows, I'm gonna be in deep shit. Hey, buddy. Uh, my light went away. No, that's the map. There we go. I accidentally extinguished my own light. I was, uh, I tried to enter stealth mode when I first got up here, figuring that that would help me fight this dude. But then, uh, he just immediately noticed me, but my night, my light got extinguished from me entering stealth mode, so I couldn't see anything. Wow, there's no one here. That's it? Alright, I'll take that. Move forward and aggro someone else and fight him next. I gotta say, this is kind of anticlimactic. They were like, oh, look at this crazy horde of enemies you're going to fight. This is going to be super hard. And then I walk in here, and there's no one in here. <laughs> oh, jeez. One one fireball cluster really took out that necromancer floating ribcage creature. Unfortunately. Oh, Edwin's down. Dang it, Edwin. Why can't you be better at being alive? It'd be really helpful if you lived more. Oh, Jesus. Let's use a quick healing potion because I don't trust the situation. There's, a, there's an archer in the background shooting invisible arrows at me, unfortunately, which is bad. Dear lord, they do a lot of damage. Enjoy this fireball from here. Really, fireball? You're just going to miss everything? you got to hit at least one thing on the screen. Otherwise, what's the point of firing you? There we go. That's how you're supposed to work, fireball. Oh, look, Edwin's back up. I guess I must have left combat temporarily. Hi, archer. You know what, you're going to shoot at me? I'll shoot at you. That was weak. I guess I'll just use my... Stabby stabby. Oh. There we go. Thank you, Edwin. Oh, wait, actually, Edwin probably didn't finish him off. It was probably just my, uh... 
probably just got finished off by the lingering flame of me setting on fire. It's weird, one of the one of the things that happens as you turn evil is that you become more vulnerable to, to ice. Which might be meaningful, but there's not really many other kinds of elemental damage in this game, are there? Everyone does ice and I guess dark. I guess dark is the one other element. I mean, yes, obviously there's fire, but I'm the only one that has that particular skill, so it doesn't matter. So when the, basically when they say you're more vulnerable to ice, they're basically just saying you're more you're more vulnerable to, you know, magic. Which doesn't mean a whole lot because you die super fast no matter what you are in this game. The damage comes out you real quickly. Alright, so we got a new Ice Lord thing over here. Fireball is it face off? That wasn't very effective. Try again. Alright, that was way better. Try again. There we go. Once it's on fire, it's super effective. You just have to establish the actual being on fire part first. Oh, come on. Please stop missing character. Your only job is to fire a fireball. There we go. Enjoy my fire spirit. I'm gonna wander over here for a little while and watch you die. Yeah, you do it, fire spirit. You do it good. Ah, it's already gone. Well, I know what to do here. Goodbye forever, or until the necromancer just brings you back up. One of the weird, th one of the things I always find weird about fighting undead in an RPG is that I'm just sort of whacking them a lot until they go down, pretty much. It's like I deplete their health bar and then they're dead. But they're undead, because they already were dead, so... Like, what caught, what stops them from just getting back up? And how do you... what determines that they're dead now? In zombie fiction, there's often like, you took... you you took out their head. That means that their brain doesn't work no more, but in RPGs, you're just sort of like... Stabby, stabby, stabby! Oh no, his hit points are gone. And that's much easy, less harder to define. There's a side path up here. Ooh. I wonder if I missed another one earlier, or if this is the only one. But anyway, Dark Souls actually addresses that because there's necromancers in that game. In Dark Souls and Dark Souls 2. Where the necromancers are like, oh, you killed my undead character. I guess I'll just bring him back. And then the undead character just comes back. <laughs> and you have to fight them over and over again until the necromancer's down. I guess we aggroed that guy way over there. Yep, that guy with the shield must have been aggroed because no one else is even... In Edwin, are you stuck again? Edwin, come on. No, come on. Edwin. Jesus Christ, I'm, I'm gonna push you right through here. Get up the stairs. God damn AI. Come on. Come on. Up the stairs. There we go. We can do it. Just push. Push. You're crowning. Just do your breathing. Do your breathing. Do your breathing. Oh my God. <laughs> Fuck that guy. Enjoy being on fire, buddy. You just walked down the wrong alleyway that some woman was stuck in. <laughs> there, Edwin, can you follow me now? You dumbass. Christ, the AI. I don't hate this game, which I've said before, but there's just... Oh, man, some stuff needed to be ironed out. <laughs> there's just too many quirks that shouldn't have made it to the final product in a disc-based game on a PlayStation 4. <laughs> it's kind of disappointing that this is, like, the first big RPG you can buy on this console. And it just sort of... It's not, it's not, it doesn't necessarily feel like the labor of love. <laughs> it feels like, well, we better hit this deadline. Get him, Edwin. Get him with your attacks and stuff. <laughs> Unfortunately, my most powerful ability seems to just be stabbing people a lot. Which is, which I, I'm not psyched about because my other abilities are more fun to use. Like, I like summoning a spirit that shoots people with fireballs. But unfortunately, the fireballs aren't that strong. Let's go get this drop before, before I forget about it. Yeah. Refined metal, heart dust, tainted blood. Where am I going? I'm kind of just wandering around. I sure hope I'm going somewhere. <laughs> that seemed like there was a fork in the road earlier that I just walked past, that I didn't go down because I took the side path. But now the side path is actually way longer than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a room with an item in it, but now it's just going on for ages. If I check the map, it might I might find out that this is actually the only way to go. And the way that seemed like the way forward was actually a side path. But I don't feel the need to check a map yet. Oh, is that that's an archer on the left, isn't it? Nope, it's just the shitty skeletons. These guys are easy. Hey shitty skeleton. Bye, shitty skeleton. Oh, bigger skeleton. Bye, shitty skeleton. Oh, you're not quite dead. I can fix that. <laughs> 
How you doing, buddy? You like shooting dark magic at people? I like shooting fire magic at people. It's the opposite of dark, because it's really bright. <laughs> hey, buddy. Buddy. Oh my god, that one's really big. I don't like it. I don't like it. Don't like it. No like. No like. No like. I guess the downside of have of these fire spirits is that they don't shoot. Uh, it said that they have the same fire properties as my fire spells do, but that's not entirely accurate because my fire spell shoots a cluster of attacks, and theirs just shoots one spell. They, theirs just shoots one little attack. Oh my god! Nope, they're still weak. Ow! <laughs> oh god, get away, get away! All right, well, let's shoot fireballs out of them. Fireballs! Ow. That's what I get for trying to just press the attack instead of waiting for him to keep charging me the same move again. Come on, come on, buddy. Yep, that's me dodging. How are you gonna do it? What are you gonna do about that? What are you gonna do when your plan fails and your attacks do not land? Chow! That was very ineffective fireballing. Well, that's disappointing. I like it better when my fire attacks actually hit people and do a lot of damage. Oh wow, did he fall over? Is he down? That was weird, he still had more hit points, but he was down on the ground for some reason. Picking up items. What do we got around here? Seems like, oh, nope, J just a hit, just a pit. What's down there? That, that might be the chamber I started out in earlier. What is that sword? You guys see that, right? There's a sword. There's a, a sword guy's just floating. I don't think there's even a platform over there. He's just floating up by the ceiling. What the hell? Game, come on. You gotta stop pulling this crap. It's so disappointing. Is he gonna come out of the ground? Oh god damn it, he came out of the ground. You can't do that, game! You can't! I'm sorry, that's just so bad! You can't pull the thing where we're like, the undead are coming out of the ground when we're on the second floor! <laughs> So every every time I go into the situation where I'm I'm seeing stuff that's coming at me from under the ground, all of these guys are just right under the ground and they just float up, even when we're on the second floor. So they're just they're they're when they spawn they're all just floating in the air, be below the the floor, and they just sort of levitate through the ground like they're fucking kitty pride, fucking bunch of shadow cats over here. <laughs> Whammo! I guess I walked away slightly, so that char my character's coming back. Yep, it went back alive because they did things like quick combat. Blammo! Oh, are you charging an attack or are you just recoiling? You can't always tell what's going to happen there. Is it dead? It is dead. What is with those guys? Maybe I'm misinterpreting something, but it seems like the... Oop, ow, I walked right into that one. Screw you, buddy! Screw you! Ow! Fucking fuck fuck! I wish I could see anything, but there's so many particle effects I can't even tell when he's shooting. Alright, now that I've had the fun of replaying through this area just to kill that archer again and make them all dead, let's check out this area. This is this a ladder? So I can go up a ladder, or I can go over there down a hallway. There's so many directions, so many forking paths, and no concept of which way is the right one. Oh, cutscene means this is probably forward progress, maybe. Maybe. Or certainly higher up or something. So how's the rest of my party fa faring? Are we going to get an explanation for why some of the, those people even came along? Because... I sense very powerful magic. There's a source of power not far from here. Hey, baddie. You having a good day? Like to party? He, he likes to party. <laughs> Whammo, go fire spirits! Do my work for me! Alright, I'll, I'll help too. It's not fun to just sit there after all. Better get busy! Oh, he decided to fight back. Just in time for his own death. Yep. Well, it's glad, good to know that the whole time I was wailing on him, he decided to use one attack. Man, my fire spirit is so disappointingly weak compared to everything else I do. It's really too bad, because it's fun to be able to summon them. But it's not very, uh responsible or efficient to be using that spell. Get away from his explosion! It's weird how easy this, this enemy is. I've had so much trouble with various opponents throughout the game that seem like they should have been the easy ones, but then the, when they come up to the big scary uh, ribcage enemy, that seems like it's sort of like, oh my god, you're, in, you're, you're near the end of the game, here's the crazy hard stuff. 
he's actually like super he's kind of disappointing and not very hard because he's just sort of like here i am buddy <laughs> watch me slowly project watch me slowly choreograph or project or whatever you call it all of my attacks coming in advance so that you know that they're coming so that you can dodge them you know just whenever you feel like it man <laughs> man everyone's moving slow now but the fat guy from the first level that guy was fast as shit <laughs> Didn't have time to dodge crap from him, but these guys, they wind up as slow as they want. Go down. Go down. Just go down. Just go... Oh my god, go down. Die. 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 You're not blocking my attacks. I'm behind you. Jesus Christ. <laughs> he was impervious to damage. Like, I, get, I think he was blocking, but I was behind him, so he's not supposed to be able to block me. Because basic game mechanics of every game ever, so... Maybe I'm wrong, but that seems like what, that was what was going on. Oh, there's some sort of headstone back here. Oh, am I in combat? Oh, I can't walk this way anyway, it's the an invisible wall. Grows stronger. I believe I recognize the magical signature of an artifact. This is not a creature. With all these stiffs in the way, we can't go any farther for the moment. We need to find the source of all these deaths. Maybe it has something to do with the artifact. Huh. Would that be the source of power? <laughs> it sure looks like a source of power. Huh. Well, I guess I'll go blow this guy up. Blow you up! That didn't do damage. Blow you up! Why can't it hurt you? Blow you up! Blow you up! Holy crap, die! No, nothing with the shield should ever be- Ow! <laughs> nothing with the shield should ever be this impervious to damage. Is there something special about that guy? Or is he just some dude again? Because he just seems to be some dude that just won't die. Weird. Blow you up! There we go. Even the slowest ship crosses the river immediately, eventually, or whatever. Something about lakes. Let's do a joke. What's that white thing down there? Is that just a crystal in the environment? Like, look at the bottom of my screen. I'm not sure what that is. It almost looks like it's moving a little bit, but I can't tell. It might just be like a bright white thing in the environment, but it could also just be. Can I really not walk towards this thing? It's just an invisible wall? Am I, is that supposed to mean something to me? The weird tombstone? Is it a list of some kind? Anyway, I think I've gone full circle at this point. Oh, there's a ladder. Alright, so let's go down a pathway and see what's down there. Here we go. Oh, nope, not a pathway, not a side path, just a, just a wall. Those big flat things that tend to block paths. I gotta say, they could have easily made Edwin your sidekick for the entire game. She's the she's the one that's relevant to the plot, apparently, and they're forcing you to be her companion for a big chunk of the game, so why not just make her your companion all the time? She seems to complement your abilities because she has ice powers and mind control, which you do not. She's probably she's arguably the most useful companion for that reason. She has more reason to exist than Relmar or Randval really have. Or whatever her name is. Sybil, maybe? I can't tell- I can't remember if her name is Sybil, or if I'm making up that name because there's a, the first boss in a... Ow! That's what I get for thinking I can just outrun the attack instead of dodging it with the actual dodge button. Uh... I'm not sure if her name's actually- I can't remember if her name's actually Sybil, or if Sybil's just the name of the first boss in Transistor. I mean, that is the name of the first boss in Transistor, but I, I don't know if that's also the name of the character in this game. <laughs> Just stab, stabby, stabby, stabby. Just die. Just die, die. Everyone has way more hit points all of a sudden. Ow. Dick. Fine, I'll just summon stuff. Ah! I'm trying to summon a fireball thing, and you're sitting there re just wrecking my day today, aren't you? Ha ha ha. Enjoy those guys. Yeah. That's what's happening here. Fire. I'll open your fizz. You can attack me? Come on. Have a little fight. I don't think you can keep up with me! Ow! Maybe he can. Ow! Maybe he can! What is he attacking me with? The side of his ribcage? I gotta say, I can't really see that because they're very... It's hard... Ah! Oh. Jesus Christ, I can't even... I can't move! <laughs> There's so many attacks coming at me! Christ! He seemed to be doing an attack that wasn't just his swords from overhead, but that's kinda... It's kind of rough to put in a game, guys. The thing about the overhead swing is that a player can see it past their character. If you're doing little tiny jabs from the front of the character, then you can't really see him, so it's kind of hard to dodge them, isn't it? He's doing his charge attack, and I'm in a hallway. 
I'm getting frustrated fighting this big guy because he's he's actually relatively strong unlike the previous ones for some reason even though he looks the same but he has really fast attacks that he doesn't really he doesn't really telegraph at all so when he does them you're just sort of like well I guess I'm just gonna take this hit ow like there's not much there's not much reaction time involved it's mostly like you're well I guess you're just gonna be screwed now he jabs you with his little uh his rib cage stuff whatever that is that obviously it's very easy to dodge this big energy attack. You just go like, oh, well, I guess I'm getting out of there. But everything else, uh, especially the ribcage bl blow, like I can't watch that many different body parts at once, can I? So like a little, te a little tele. Oh my god, I can't believe I dodged that. Oh, he's doing this again. I'll shoot him for. Ow, crap! I was in range apparently. I thought that was my opportunity to shoot a fireball, but clearly I was in attack range when I didn't think I was. Oh. Screw you! Oh, he's down! There we go. Took out the other guy. Now it's gonna be easier. Just one guy to fight now. Fireball! <laughs> Not very effective, unfortunately. Ah! Dick! This guy's aggressive as hell and very fast. Oh, now, he, now he's down, apparently. <laughs> he doesn't even have a death animation or like an animation for falling down. He just. In one, it seems like in one frame of animation, he just goes from being standing straight up and attacking me to being this weird thing on the ground. I'm not even sure what it is. It's not exactly a, it's not a pile of all of his bones and parts because it's way too small. It almost looks like the, a little ring or a crown, and it's just sitting there. And then I attack that, and it dies. And I'm not sure why. I'm not sure what's going on there. That's weird. Very strange enemy. Oh, ladder. I guess we must have. Oh, the makeshift cab. The makeshift camp. This must be the town for this act. So I guess we finished our little adventure through that little fucked up region. I doubt I shall ever forget the strange series of events that led to my meeting young Vulcan. 